Virtual STEM Club Littles Edition Snowstorm here at the Portland District Library. My name is Miss Eileen and I'm going to be here today to help you through our experiment. You should have already picked up your take and make bag here at the library uh, when you registered for the program. That bag is going to have all of the supplies that you need for today's experiment except you will need a little bit of water at some point. So in just a few minutes, I'm going to go over what you got in your take and make bag, and then I'm going to help you set up your whole experiment where we make a snowstorm in a jar. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, caregivers, I do want to make a special note that there are items in the bag today that we do not want to have our littles consume. So please make sure that you are carefully supervising and helping your little one through our project for today. All right, let's go ahead and get started. do is we're gonna go over what is in your take and make bag so I've taken everything out of the bag and I've set it in front of me you should have a packet of Alka-Seltzer tablets two popsicle sticks a little container with white Crayola washable paint at the bottom and then a plastic jar and inside that plastic jar so let's go ahead and open it up is gonna be some containers of baby oil. And this one has two little containers. Some of the bags, the take and make bags, have four other even smaller containers. So you'll have any combination of little containers. But this clear liquid is baby oil. All right, so then I've also got my little cup of water that we'll need a little bit later in our project setup. So today's project is all about creating a little snowstorm in our plastic jar. And the science behind our project has to do with a word called density. And then also we're going to be looking at some chemical reaction things. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to pour all of our baby oil into our plastic jar. So caregivers, go ahead and help your little one open up the containers of baby oil and then carefully pour them into our plastic jar. And go ahead and make sure you get all the baby oil in there. So there's our first container. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour my second container in. All right. so. I'm going to set my empty little containers aside because we won't be needing those anymore. So here's my jar with just baby oil. I'm going to set that aside for just a minute here and I'm going to go to the container that has a little bit of white paint at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the tape off of this. So caregivers, again, if you can help your little one peel the tape, but hopefully you can go ahead and let them do the rest of this step. So then you can take the lid off. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour water into here with the white paint and we're going to use one of our popsicle sticks to stir it up really well. Okay, so you can either take the white paint cup to the sink and fill it up. I've got my little cup here. I'm going to fill it up about, I would say, three quarters of the way. So then I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to take my popsicle stick and you're going to want to mix the paint and the water very well. So take your time in doing this step. I take my popsicle stick and I go all the way to the bottom and I scrape the bottom to make sure that we are getting all that paint mixed together. And you can even kind of see it on the sides a little bit. You could even try lifting up the cup and looking at the bottom. But Take your time in this part because we want to make sure that we're getting as much of that white paint that was at the bottom mixed into our water. All right, so I'm mixing, I'm mixing. Again, I'm scraping the bottom, the sides. It's going to start to look a little like a glass of milk. Once you know that you've mixed it all together, it'll be so that you can't see through it anymore. All right, I 
think I'm almost done. Okay, so now that we are done mixing our white paint with our water, we are gonna get ready. We're gonna set that popsicle stick aside. We're gonna get ready to add our, our milky white water to the jar with the baby oil. And I mentioned earlier that word density. And what we're gonna see happen is once we pour this water mixture into the jar with the baby oil, it's gonna go right to the bottom. So it's gonna be the milky water, the, the white water at the bottom, and then the baby oil that sits on top. Now, normally when you mix two liquids together, they're gonna to mix together and you're not gonna notice the difference between the two. But there's something a little bit special about the difference between water and baby oil. And that is that their densities are different. And density is the word that we use to describe how much space something takes up or its volume compared to the amount of matter in that object. So in this case, water is more dense or heavy than baby oil, which is why it sinks right down to the bottom. All right, so I want all our littles to take that cup with their white water mixture and slowly pour it into their baby oil and watch what happens. And again, you should notice that that water sinks all the way to the bottom. So right now we have the water at the bottom that's white and the clear baby oil sitting on top. So for this next step, I wanted to get a little bit closer with the camera so that you can see exactly what we're doing here. So as you can see in our jar, we have that white milky paint water mixture and our baby oil. And again, that water is more dense or heavy than our baby oil, so it's gone to the bottom. Now, the next part of our experiment is gonna be adding our Alka-Seltzer tablets to our plastic jar. And that's what's gonna create our snowstorm. So caregivers, what I would like you to do is open up your Alka-Seltzer tablets. And for right now, I'm just gonna be using one of them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break that tablet up into small pieces. You can break it up into four pieces. Mine broke up into five different pieces of different sizes, so that's okay. But go ahead and break it up. And what you're gonna see next is what's called a chemical reaction. And Alka-Seltzer tablets contain two different ingredients that once mixed with water, react to each other and form bubbles. And those two ingredients are called sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. So that's what's in this little white tablet that you have, that Alka-Seltzer tablet. And again, those two ingredients, once they're mixed with water, will react to one another and form a ton of little bubbles called carbon dioxide bubbles. So Littles, what I want you to take is one of the pieces of the tablet and we're gonna put it into our jar. And I want you to watch really carefully from the side, just like this, get right down. And I want you to watch all those little bubbles form. And what's gonna happen are those little bubbles are gonna form and they're gonna carry the white water from the bottom up through the baby oil and create the snowstorm effect in our jar. All right, is everybody ready to watch the final part of our experiment? This is where it gets really exciting. Okay, here we go, everyone. 
Now you gotta give it a minute, but you are gonna see those bubbles forming. And again, if you look at it from the side, you can really see things going on in there. And you can also hear it. Can you hear the bubbles? Whoa, look at that. How fun. And so what's gonna happen is those bubbles are gonna rise to the top layer here, and then they're gonna fall back down because remember, those bubbles are filled with that white water that is heavier than our baby oil or more dense than our baby oil. And it's gonna keep bubbling until all those ingredients in that tablet are mixed together with our water. So what's gonna happen is eventually you'll start to see no more bubbles and no more action in our jar. And that's when we can add another piece of the tablet. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another piece. I'm actually gonna add two small pieces over to the other side of our jar. Then you can really see, look at that. Look at all those bubbles. <gasps> How fun. Now caregivers, I do want you to know that you should not put the lid back on the jar until the tablets have done um, all their dissolving because you're, you're going to create pressure if we put that lid on and then it could kind of pop off and explode. So we don't want to put the lid on until we're all done with the um, chemical reaction in there and all those bubbles have been created. Ooh, see this is my favorite part is watching all the little bubbles. All right, I've got my last couple of pieces. Woo! How fun. Can you guys still hear all those bubbles? Might be hard to hear on the video, but hopefully you can hear all the bubbles in yours. All right, so that is our experiment for today. And I hope you had all sorts of fun today watching us create our own little snowstorms. Now, the other thing that you can do once all of those bubbles have been formed and the tablets are no longer creating their little chemical reaction is you can actually put the lid on the jar and swirl it around and you can see again in real time that water and oil do not mix at all. No matter how much you shake that jar and try to get those two substances or liquids to mix, they are not going to do it. So that's another little fun thing that you can do. Um, obviously you do have that second tablet of Alka-Seltzer um, that you can go ahead and break up and continue to do this. But you can keep adding more and more Alka-Seltzer until you're all done with your tablets um, and your snowstorm has passed um, and is done. Thank you all so much for joining me today for a little Virtual STEM Club Littles Edition Snowstorm. I hope you had all sorts of fun creating your snowstorm in a jar with us today. We would love to see any videos or pictures of you completing today's project. And, we, and you can email those to us at the email address going across your screen now. Thank you again for joining us today and we'll see you next time. Bye.